Hey guys, it's the break of dawn. I wanted to show you guys, this is my Ipsy Glam bag for September and this is my boxy charm for September. They came around the same time so I can do a video like this. Hopefully they'll do that. Sometimes they don't but I'm gonna get ready and then probably later on today I'll come back with my thoughts. That way I have worn it a full day and you guys will see it. So let's get started. So we're gonna go ahead and go into Ipsy and into boxy charm. Now those will be unboxing separate from this. I'm gonna use the brushes today. I have this blush, so I'm going to use the other one from the Ipsy Glam Bag, but this is Tropic Hues from Laura Geller. It is beautiful, but I do want to try this. I have tried this, but I'm going to give my opinions later on today about that. So we're going to use the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale palette. It's going to be a cool tone look. So I'm going in with Hide and Seek using the brush in here. Now that is a cool tone transition shade. With the same brush, I'm going to go in to flip out. It's a deeper shade. Gonna cost ooh, wasn't ready for that. Gonna concentrate it on just the end. I'm not getting a lot of fallout with these. Okay, next I'm going to go into hmm, I'm going to go into I Spy. Put it the stamper right there. The same brush. getting too close. This is with the No Fix Plus, so that is good. Let me go in with a fluffier brush. I'm gonna go in with Clutch. I'm gonna use this to be a little bit more precise. This is like, ooh, this is creamy. I'm gonna try No Fix Plus first. On the other side, I will use my finger and just see how it applies. Let's go on with my finger on this one. Oh yeah, finger one. That one, I can like really control the pressure on my middle finger. So let's go back in and blend that. Y'all, got a little bit of fallout under here, but I put that yellow powder down, so I'm just going to clean up with that, but just a little bit. I expected a little bit more than what I got. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with Break Free on top of that because it has a sparkle to it. I'm going to go in with Pillow Fight a little bit and, ooh, that's pigmented. Y'all see that? Let me blend that out. Taking a little bit of, what's that first shade, Hide and Seek? Just to blend everything out. I don't want to go in with Nocturnal because that's very white. But I am going to go back into mm, Break Free and put it, pop it right here. Okay, then this and I'm going to go in. Let's go into a color I have not gone into. Let's go into After Midnight. And.
We're going to smoke it out using, I'm going to try to use this brush to smoke it out. Um, going back into hide and seek. Okay, I look using the palette. I think I'm done with that. This is by Butter London. We are still in the boxy charm right now. The consistency of this eyeliner is wet. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna do the other one. Now, this is a hard, because I'm left-handed, this is a harder one to do. I didn't want to do too much of a wing. I just messed up. But I think that's all I'm going to do. Leave good enough alone. I'm going to the Ipsy Glam bag now. I should have used this for a concealer, but we'll use this in another video and I can tell you about it. <clears throat> I've used this before, but I want to show you guys. This is a Leap Lip Pigment from Hanalei. And this one is in a mauve pink color. Oh, a little bit. It's thick. So, just going to put a little bit on. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty for every day. I am going to put the lipstick that came in here over it though. This is from Bella P. Air and it's in the shade Incognito. I'm going to take something. This came in a boxy charm before. This is brown sugar. Not in this boxy charm, but go ahead and lock my lips. I don't know. This is a trick I do sometimes. I go ahead and do my eyes and then my lips sometimes because it lets me know how much blush and highlight to balance everything out. I don't know if that makes sense. Oh, that's a pretty booyah. And it's creamy. Okay, this is how it looks on its own. The oh, this this is a pinky nude, so it even this out being cool tone. The Halloween has a taste to it, <laughs> but they actually have a blush, and then it says it's a bronzer, but I think I can use it as a highlighter. This is from a brand called Nomad. I've used them before, but this is their blush. This is a light infusion powder. It's a shimmering soft peach shade it's multi-dimensional i could use this as a blush by itself this brush is so good it's by wet and wild i'm going to tap that off look at that oh that's sick that looks so good that's such a pretty oh should i mess that up with a highlight Ooh, that's okay, no mad. I see you. That's so pretty. Okay, Ipsy. No mad. It's cruelty free too. It's a yes on that. Ooh. Okay. Let's go in with the highlight. It's from Dirty Little Secret Cosmetics. And this is a bronzer, but I'm gonna use it as a highlight. Look at that. I can definitely see it. I can put this one on my nose. How about that? So y'all can see it just so in. Because I would not put this on my nose. That's so great. I like that too. And skinny dip. Can y'all see that? I have it more so right there. But the look is complete. I did it with all of my Ipsy and BoxyCharm products. 
and still have some left to go. So let's clean this up and then put on a mascara, which is not in here, which I get mascara a lot, but I tell them from Ipsy to stop sending me mascara, please. So I had a hair product in my Ipsy Glam bag. And I had this liquid lipstick that was left over from, and I didn't use the Tropic Cutes because I love this. I have it in a mini and it's old, so I can throw that one away and use that one. But this is a liquid lipstick from Lorac and it's in deep burgundy. I'm not trying to do like vampy today because I feel like that's a vampy shade. So let's go back over that. So to correct it, I just flicked it off and then went back in with clutch. These are beautiful. Oh, I like these better than Urban Decay. Just saying that's what I compared it to because these my naked two palette that I decluttered is a lot like this so let's put on a mascara and then I will be done with this look Okay, and that is the finished look. Okay, so I will be back to give my thoughts on what I use from the Glam Bags. See y'all in a few. Okay guys, so we are back. I need to reapply. It's about 2.15. Actually, it's about 2.30. Mm, y'all see that? It's it's 2.30. Okay, so let's start with the Ipsy Glam Bag since I'm putting on this lipstick. Incognito from Bella Pierre. I like it a lot. Really pretty. It lasted a pretty good time. It is not, let me tell you, the formulation reminds me of, itty bitty, itty bitty, of the Pat McGrath lipsticks, which I have to get one, but I tested the texture. Oh my goodness. It's totally pigmented. It's like if Pat McGrath had a baby sister, this is what it would be. Pigmented and it's soft, so beautiful. This is like a satin, maybe like a demi matte type of lipstick, but I really like the color and I like the formulation. So thumbs up on that. This I already talked about. Yes, this I have to still test, but I'm just giving y'all like my impressions of this. I am gonna come back at the end of the month and give my, Favorites and fails of these beauty boxes. Hanalei, thumbs up. I love them all. Pink, even better because you can throw it on and to go. This blush. It's kind of faded, but I still like it. And then this in Skinny Dip was really, really nice. And we'll be done. Okay. Palette Love. Yeah. Eyes still intact. Eyeliner, not bad, but we're going to talk about this at the end of the month. Didn't try the liquid lipstick. Already loved the blush, but I didn't have it on. I actually had the other one for the Ipsy. Love the brushes. Love the palette. So that's it. Going to end this. Thanks so much for watching this video. And I wanted to come back and do like a full day. So I'm about to take this makeup off. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you in another video.